SRC elections are a time for potential student leaders to campaign and compete for a seat on the Student Representative Council. This year, we saw resignation after resignation, amounting to a total of four resignations, all of which were by executive members, showing that perhaps the SRC is not a platform for the faint-hearted. In the SRC elections this year, we had five candidates running for the main presidential seat. Sisesa Kentlabezo was appointed as the SRC president on Friday. For full SRC results, visit our website, opinionpress.com. Today in studio, Sisasake joins us for the first time ever to talk about his SRC presidential appointment. Sisasake, thank you for joining us and congratulations for your appointment. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, firstly, this has been such a difficult year for the SRC. Why the bold decision to run for president? I think in as much as it has been difficult and it has been very challenging, it, it's really spoken to the fact that a lot of students don't feel represented. Um, I think it shouldn't be cause for people to not run. I think the fact that you had five presidential candidates means that mm -hmm. there still are some really wonderful student leaders out there. And I think at the end of the day, that's something that's really important that should be kept. Um, I chose to run because at, at the core of myself and what I believe in, um, I believe in other people and I believe in serving the student body. Um, because when I arrived, I was served. Um, the space was facilitated for me um, to get to a point where I felt I could run and, and give back. Um, and, and if I can get the chance to do something tangible that, that may change something or change someone's life, that is only an honor I wish for. Okay, I mentioned resignations. Um, in the previous SRC presidency under, um, resigned, which shows that this is a really difficult um, position that you are about to take up. Did you maybe consult with a few people about the kind of expectations and tolls this mm. will have on you? Um, I had a number of lengthy conversations with uh, Mr. Eric Ophir, who was president in 2010 or 11, I think. Mm -hmm. I spoke with um, Mr. Matt Marilak, uh, Mr. Sake Badi, um, Alan Makubane, Bradley Benser. I did speak to Zaki Samad I didn't get a chance to speak to Sienna. So I spoke to all the prisoners, and I appreciate the fact that they were honest with me. Um, none of them made any illusions of you'll be fine. You know, um, the opening line was, um, you really are doing something that is really challenging. Mm -hmm. um, but I appreciate the fact that they were honest with me about it because then I ran with an understanding or an idea, um, at least of the fact that it does get difficult. Mm -hmm. It will be a test of character, of, of being of self. Um, and knowing that, I, I still chose to run because again, it gets a, cho a, a question of, do I shy away for fear of, of, of failure or mm -hmm. do I go forward because I want to serve? And if the chance to serve, to do something, uh, runs the risk of failure, then it's a chance worth taking. Um, okay. Um, and as president, how do you think you'll deal with some members of council potentially resigning? I definitely, I personally believe in uh, as a person that a lot of things are dealt with open communication and, and really being open to const constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a matter of understanding that people do things for different reasons. So uh, the narrative shouldn't be constructed that people resign for one reason. They're, they're a plethora, a multitude, uh, anything ranging from personal to academic to individual. Um, and definitely engaging with it in advance with the council because we start training and, and really having an open conversation that, listen, we need to respect each other and know that the channel is there that if you are struggling, talk to us to see if we can help you. Um, in as much as that is a space, um, I think as a president and as a council, uh, we have to support each other um, and empower each other to keep going um, at the same time, understand that things happen for a reason. Okay, um, at Grazel, and I think you did a brief interview with one of our field reporters um, where you spoke about how there's anger on campus and I think this was evidenced by how difficult and difficult of a year this was for the mm. SRC. What do you think is this anger and pain that you were speaking of even at mm. the Grazel that's emerging on campus? Mm. I think... It, it would be a bit of a, a reduction to pinpoint it to one thing. Um, there are a number of reasons, but um, people say it all the time. If you listen to students, a lot of students say they can't breathe and the space is not accommodating, it doesn't mm -hmm. facilitate them. Um, and, you know, we look back to a couple of weeks ago, there was the painting um, of Black Lives Matter, um, you know, and people were saying it's vandalism, but I don't think it's vandalism. I think mm -hmm. if people feel 
in a space that they need to emphasize that Black Lives Matter, surely it speaks to the fact that they, they, they feel uncomfortable. That it does. Okay. They're angry that they're not being heard. And they, they took those measures to say, listen to me. I'm here. I'm standing in front of you. And that's that pain. is that people need to be recognized. Their discomfort, their pain, their problems, they need to be given the merit and validation they deserve. Okay. And how do you plan on tackling that in your tenure as president? I will, I will definitely speak to the ideas I have, and I think as a council we'll have a more comprehensive thing after we meet and we have a, a training program. But it's it's walking in with the keen understanding that we have to be aware of the issues. So it's, it's providing the platform for, for the, the student body in the various okay. forms and movements to come and express to the council what their concerns are. And not only listening, but taking them to heart and presenting an idea of how we move forward from that. Okay. Um, That's so, still a bit broad in terms yeah. of what the issues are. What, yeah. what are some of the issues that you have personally identified to be some mm. problems that you uh, will be focusing on? Definitely. Um, transformation has popped up recently and, um, mm. for example, the name change starts released by the SRC, mm -hmm. which has been adopted by Student Forum as a strategic plan of the SRC. Okay. So it's moving forward with so that. So you're in support of um, that? Yes, as the SRC coming in, I mean, we're keeping with the name change um, mm -hmm. and we, um, having been adopted by Student Forum, as the strategic plan, we're moving forward because the, the collected roads leaders okay. uh, chose not just the SOC to support it and move it forward. Uh, the way forward is to feed that debate by also doing extensive research from the students' perspective and really getting the word out there, getting some education and putting the pressure on to say, listen, let, let's explore the options. Let's, okay. let's explore what can be done under which circumstances and by whom. And and being open about the progress that we're making, which definitely will think we'll start to begin to work towards it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think many candidates address the question of working with management because the SRC is a student body, mm -hmm. has to work a lot with management. Um, how are you going into council um, taking into account that the relationship between the SRC and management, university mm -hmm. management, can be quite hostile or volatile? Mm. It is a very difficult balance to play, um, and I will not um, sit here and say that I'll, I'll, we will balance it in the best possible way, but it's definitely, we have to understand it first and foremost that the SRC is the Student Representative Council. Um, you know, at the grads, a lot of candidates saying that their mandate will be first and foremost informed by the students, mm -hmm. and I think of the elected candidates, every single one will stick by that, in as much as we understand that we use the position we have as a council to facilitate the communication of issues from student level up to the managers. They hear it directly saying, listen, this is what your students are saying. Um, and using that position as a council to, to facilitate the the critique if need be, the action if need be, to put the pressure and also be ha to have the, the interface between management and the students so that's not detached. Okay. Um, and that detachment, it, it needs to, we need to be a strong interface so that it's not so separated and comes close together so we can understand this is what the students want, this is what needs to be done, how can we do it? Okay, and in moments where there's friction, um, tension in terms of what the SRC is advocating mm -hmm. for, um, and that is not in line with management or what management wants, which is what we've seen um, often to be the case. How do you plan on tackling those kind of situations? That's a difficult thing to answer at this current moment because obviously there's, you, 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 this is something that, for example, the council is coming in understanding of. We're aware of the fact that there is a difficult friction and balance to that mm -hmm. and we need to work towards it. But um, like, I, like we were saying a lot, is being open to criticism and being fed from the students. And I think as a council, understanding that the 15 may not always be able to have all the ideas and being open and approachable and accessible okay. to, to, to be fed from the student body in terms of what to do and also communicating back and forth so that um, in as much as we are open, that friction is hopefully dissolved by the openness and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and the collective effort. Um, it, it's, it's, it becomes a matter of understanding that, again, at the heart of it is the students, and it's a matter of how can we work within these lines, and if need be, uh, within other lines, to get things done. But that's a friction that definitely we can try and prepare for, but at times we'll have to deal with as it comes up, um, hopefully having okay. prepared for the possibilities. Okay, of speaking of opening up the debate, um, we have a few questions. We have Zintle M asking um, the president, what does from access to success mean? Does it pertain only to you or only um, student body? Um, so if we can maybe so address to that. To me as a person, yes. student body. Um, in short, the student body. Um, the idea from access to success is about accessibility, but again, not just a matter of saying, hey, we are approachable, but hey, 
we are approachable this is what we're doing um, okay. so that the actions and the and the ideas and, and the discussions aren't so detached from the student body so I they're think, accessible I think the root qu- the root sorry I think the root sorry. question of that is what what do you plan on doing with that because it's yes it's a nice phrase yeah. and it's amazing yeah. um but how are you going to bring that to the students that, yeah that's what I'm getting to um is that now we were working on the idea of of, of increasing communication of being more accessible to students by terms of um, making monthly updates for the council, creating platforms for management from the um, highest level to communicate to students more effectively, and us as the SRC having open meetings, and that's what mm-hmm. exists with the belief that um, by improving access to the student body so that they're more empowered and know more, there's so much more that can happen, and that's where the success part is. Because by making it open, we're giving the chance to say, this is what we're doing, this is how you can support us, and that is the end goal. That's where the success okay, comes in. Thank okay. you. Um, we spoke earlier about how you were involved in university structures before, yes, um, and that you have a lot of experience to do with that. Um, how do you plan on bringing that into SRC? Um, well, I've I've served in a number of committees and I've sat in a number of meetings. I was the operating chair, and I sat on two university council meetings, board of residences, and student services okay. councils. So I'm I'm not unfamiliar with the structure of the meetings, and I think it, it it's, a, it's a nice advantage. Mm-hmm. But I think also the incoming council is blessed to have Umlundo Lozi Sandi as the SG and Sianda Kubashi as the treasurer, who mm-hmm. served in 2014 in other positions. So they are also highly aware of the various um, meetings and the, the councils and mm-hmm. and the. Uh, channels which can be used. Um, so we will use the channels that we've been exposed to to facilitate this, as long, along with working with the student body to get that facilitation improved and to okay. flow well. um, Another thing is um, the newly appointed SRC has a group of diverse individuals um, and many people, I'm wondering, how are you planning on working with you know, a group of diverse individuals? Um, at mm-hmm. this stage, what do you foresee? Mm-hmm. I think Again, what's, and we'll refer back to grads, what you've been doing. What's nice is that with the elected council members, a lot of them did speak to ideas of, trans, of trans, um, transformation, of, transformation of being approachable, of being accessible, of being transparent and accountable. And at the heart of that, at the core of what they are, are those elements. And that means that the diversity is there, but we're all running under the same goals and the same beliefs. And that diversity brings something to the table. You know, you have a plethora of ideas of, mm-hmm. of this is what I think you can do, this is what I think you can do. And it feeds it to a more comprehensive view because it's not coming from one sole channel, but it, it represents a, a variety of different student bodies and, and, and constituencies, which is a lovely thing to have in a representative council. Okay, another question, difficult I think, um, is the question of neutrality. This was um, thrown around a lot with the previous SRC um, when they said opened up discussions for a lot of things and never really took a stance on um, several issues. What is your take on the whole debate about the SRC being neutral and taking a particular um, stance, whether principled or not? I think it's important to not mistake neutrality for inaction. I think neutrality is a sense of saying... um, as, as a representative, we're going to try and provide the space um, for opinions and ideas to be fed in um, because it, it becomes, and this is not a defense, is my understanding is that if we are representing a, gr- a big group and from the beginning we've come guns blaring, you know, you need to give the chance for the student bodies in their different constituencies and diverse groups, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. to say what they need to say and take that into consideration moving forward. But my belief is that um, in being neutral doesn't mean we'll be inactive. I think you can be neutral by providing the chance, but also being taking information in and using that to feed into the discussions you have with the management and with the other students and making it a comprehensive cycle so that it's constantly developing and growing as it moves along. Um, okay. So that's what it is, is providing a platform, but not to say that there will be no action in being neutral. Um, okay. And um, we have another question. Someone yes, is asking, um, Susan is asking, do you have a completely black SRC in a very diverse university. How do you plan to cater to student needs? So it, you're saying a completely black SRC in a diverse university? Yes. Okay. Um, again, I will begin by saying that um, at th- the core of what the students are running for, they're running for things that speak not to black students or any blackness, but speak to student body as a complete whole. Okay. Um, accountability, transparency, um, efficiency. Um, and we plan to cater to that, but at the same time, we have to be aware that, yes, the SRC, it, it, it is got a 8-7 uh, male-to-female ratio, and it is entirely black, okay. which um, is something we can have to talk with. And I have to acknowledge that, listen, that may not appear representative, but it is. Um, at the core of it also, um, what we are running under and what we are aiming to do in terms of serving the student body speaks to the whole student body. And that's how we hope to address it, um, by serving the whole student body and really being aware of the fact that we look as though we might not. 
Okay. Um, to me, and lastly, yes, sir. And I think we've spoken about how difficult this position is. Um, how, how what are your constraints academically as well, like support wise? Um, are you ready? Um, are you going to take up a year? Um, because I think you are offered an option of suspending your studies for a year. What are your commitments as far as academics and everything else? Okay, well, I'm currently doing my honours, and next year I'm doing a uh, two-year master's thesis. So okay. um, in the first year, my first submission happens in uh, later on the year, so I'll have a, a number of time to work on what, um, as a collective council, we want, along with balancing academic needs. Um, so I'm definitely, I'm thinking at this time, it's, it's uh, uh, a good enough time for me to run because then it won't completely interfere with academic studies, but okay. will also allow me the chance to dedicate as much of myself as I can to the council itself. Okay, I think we can squeeze in one more Twitter question yeah. um, from Jebs, who's asking, you have a very controversial vice president. How do you plan to work together? You know what, I, I have all the respect in the world for Mr. Lomo, and mm -hmm. I think Mr. Lomo, um, I wouldn't use the word controversial, I think actually Mr. Lomo speaks to a lot of students. He's relatable in the sense that students see him and they say, this is someone I know, this is someone I can oh, speak okay. to. And um, I plan to work with him because he stands by the same virtues that every other council, elected council member stands mm -hmm. by. Um, and at the end of it all, we all just want to serve. And we've been given that chance, and we're going to try and do as much as we can to serve for the students who elected us. And I, I, I hope to have a very fruitful relationship with them. Okay, so you are excited for the term. Very um, much Nervous. So. What are your feelings about the term going into? I am excited. I am nervous. I am I'm energetic. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to give of myself. And, and I'm, I'm thankful to have been given the chance, along with the other council, and we hope that we will do the best we can to represent and serve in as much as we can. Okay, good luck. We'll be watching. Thank you very much. Um, and holding you guys accountable for everything you are saying. Please. Thank you for joining in on the conversation, and I would encourage you to keep on holding the SRC accountable through channels that the SRC makes available. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, The Opinion Press, um, and follow us on Twitter at Opinion Press. Thank you for joining us. Have a lovely weekend.